Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time, at long last, we're going to be taking a look at the Season 3 finale of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters, uh, obviously the episode, Deadlock. Um, my god, I am speechless right now and I just can't believe what what I saw. So, the episode starts off with where we left off last episode with the Autobots on the Nemesis, pretty much battling the Decepticons, Ratchet letting everyone know that he's heading to the control station of the Omega Lock. Optimus orders RC's team to join Ratchet and Ultramagus and the Wreckers pretty much take the bridge, essentially. Optimus intends to use the Omega Lock to restore Cybertron, uh, essentially, is what the plan is. Um, Megatron arrives on the scene and pretty much shoots Optimus's jetpack to bits, and, and pretty much Optimus starts climbing to the top of the Omega Lock. Uh, Smokescreen tells RC and Bumblebee that he has something to do, and that something he has to do is that he pretty much goes through, pretty much goes through the corridors of the Nemesis and gets the Star Saber, which I just, wow, it's just epic. Uh, Knockout pretty much uh, is pretty much uh, meanwhile is trying to find a way to get off the Nemesis uh, uh, out, of the way the, uh, out of the chaos that's going on. Uh, Ultra Magnus uh, and his team reach the bridge, however Soundwave uh, teleports them to uh, back to where they were essentially and then uh, the, the humans find out about this and Jack has an idea which he asks Rap to teleport him and Miko to the Nemesis essentially. Uh, on the warship, Shockwave encounters Ratchet, they have a battle, and it is interrupted by the Omega Lock signal in that it's ready to fire. Uh, as it as he as he opens the huge portal, uh, he spots Optimus on the Omega Lock and is, is forced to take cover. Uh, Megatron arrives, engages Optimus, and orders Shockwave to begin the firing sequence. Uh, Knockout essentially, like I said, wandering the corridors, um, and, and pretty much is encountered by Jack and Miko in the Apex armor, and quickly finishes off the Viacons and everything in his way. Uh, Soundwave advances on her with the ground bridge, however, uh, uh, uh Raph is able to open another ground bridge, which transports uh, Soundwave to the Shadow Zone, essentially. Uh, an idea that kind of reoccur... Uh, a reoccurring idea they got back in Season 1. They did the Skyquake. Uh, as Jack and Miko head to the controls, the Omega Lock begins powering up the bottom of the ship. Uh, Optimus and Megatron continue to battle with, uh, with Optimus getting the Dark Star Saber off Megatron's grip and pretty much beating the crap out of him. Uh, Megatron orders Shockwave to prepare to fire, but is interrupted by the ship lurching while under Jack's control. <coughs> uh, Smokescreen uh, pretty much uh, passes RC and Bumblebee with a Star Saber into the control room and attempts to throw the, the sword to Optimus, but Shockwave blasts it out of his hand. Uh, and then uh, pretty much Starscream, Shockwave, and RC and Bumblebee have a race to the, the Star Saber that's just sitting there by itself. Uh, Bumblebee's able to get it just in time and pretty much uh, punch Shockwave in the face, cracking his one eye. And pretty much he passes the weapon to Optimus, but Megatron shoots him three times and it pretty much uh, kills him as he's falling into the Omega Lock, essentially, into the energy field. Uh, which was kind of shocking, however, it becomes way, way epic near the end. Uh, Optimus is very, very pissed off, and just beats the ever-loving crap out of Megatron, um, and only to be, and Megatron pretty much knocks Optimus off the Omega Lock with the Dark Star Saber, and just as Megatron's about to finish him off, um, he turns around to hear a, a response calling his name, and it's Bumblebee who regains his voice, uh, after recovering within the Omega Lock, and just drives the Star Saber through Megatron's chest, killing him, and him and the Dark Star Saber pretty much fall to, uh, uh, down to Earth, essentially. So, that was epic. He just absolutely kills Megatron. Um, and, uh, Shockwave, or, not Shockwave, Starscream's in 
complete shock, and he tries to help uh, avenge his leader, but Shockwave says, uh, you're stupid, let's get the hell out of here, and they pretty much do. Um, and Optimus helps Bumblebee climb up as the remaining Decepticon scramble to escape. Uh, as the Autobots reunite, uh, they're just very surprised that Bumblebee's got his voice back, and and that um, and Optimus passes uh, on the news to Magnus' team in Hangar E that Megatron has officially perished. Uh, and with the ship now under Autobot control, Optimus tells Magnus to set the coordinates to go to Cybertron, and they restore Cybertron with the Omega Lock. Uh, as they're arriving on Cybertron, Starfleet and Shockwave escape, um, uh, escape with one of the escape pods. There's only one left, so they pretty much cram into it and eject through, presumably to K-On, essentially. Uh, Starscream complains about the crowded space, and, and then Shockwave uh, uh, says, like, are you going to complain throughout the voyage? That was kind of funny. Um, Ratchet states that he does he, he does not have the complete formula to syn synthesize it, Cybermatter in the current amount was intended to cyberform Earth, not the much larger Cybertron. Uh, so Optimus and the Autobots they drive the the Omega Log into the well of all, all sparks and they pretty much revive Cybertron essentially. Um, Knockout admires the planet's new luster, uh, but Miko pretty much knocks him out. So. He gets knocked out by his namesake. <laughs> it was that. It was kind of epic. Uh, so I don't say he's dead. You never know. Uh, Predator King is still clinging onto the Nemesis. Uh, looks onto Cybertron and pretty much transforms and flies away. Um, and at the end of the episode, uh, the Autobots are back on Earth. Optimus gives a speech about how they're going to miss Earth. Fowler says the kids will remember. Will be members of Unit E. Uh, Ratchet announces that he will be staying on Earth. Uh, Bumblebee, Bulk, and RC uh, say goodbye to their respective partners, while Fowler, Magnus, Wheeljack, and Smokescreen share a mutual salute. Uh, as the Autobots head through the space bridge, Optimus gives Ratchet the last goodbye and follows and follows the other Autobots after them. And that is the end of the episode and season three. Overall, I just could not believe what I saw. It was an epic finale. I just, it's epic. However. This is not the epic finale. The series is not over yet because, uh, some of you may not know this, and I know most of you know this, but uh, Predacons Rising is coming out in October on DVD and Blu-ray, um, and it's and, and it will be airing on the Hub. I don't know when they haven't announced it yet, but pretty much Predacons Rising is a TV movie, and it's supposed to conclude uh, the Prime series essentially. So technically, this is not over, and just from the description. Uh, just from reading the synopsis of the movie, um, Megatron's not dead. I'm not kidding you. Megatron, yes, he, it was great seeing Bully kill Megatron, but he's not dead, and a familiar face from season one comes back and takes him over. I'm not going to spoil it for you, alright? That is another day. Alright, so, anyways, overall, Deadlock was a great episode, you have to watch this episode, it's amazing, it's epic, and overall, I'm just astounded right now, I'm very excited. So, anyways, and, and I'm really looking forward to Predacons Rising when it comes out in October, so, anyways, um, or when it, whenever it airs on the Hub. Uh, so, yeah, that is my very review of the Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters episode, uh, Deadlock, and of course the end of season 3. I will see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible in my next video. And yes, yeah, so take care. See you soon. Have a great day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.